Hi, this is Richie from Midas. This is part two of using the Midas I.O. updater tool. You've already followed part one, so your computer is set up and you already have the application installed. So what we'll do is go into the application and we'll run an update on a box. The first thing we need to do is we need to select the update file. So assuming we're going to use Gen 3.4.2 Pro X software, we need to point to the tar file we've downloaded as per part one. Once that's selected, assuming your IP and your subnet is set up correctly on your computer or laptop, you need to plug the Ethernet cable from your computer into the Ethernet port on the I.O. box. The next thing we need to do is we need to go over to the I.O. box and we need to see what ID the I.O. box is. In this particular example, we're using a Midas DL231 I.O. box. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the menu and we're going to check the ID. In this instance, it's set to ID3. So we know that when we go back to the tool, we need to set the ID to ID3 and the IO box DL231. So we go back over to the tool and we select the IO box, which is a DL231 and ID3. We've pointed to the update file We've selected the device, DL231 in this case, and ID3. At this point, we can simply run update. So the upgrade is now complete. We can now power cycle the unit, and that's as easy as the process is. I'm Richie from Midas. Thanks for watching.